All right, well, one of the finalists of last season's The Bachelorette is part of a new venture, which could be a great easy way to make some fast cash off what's already hanging in your closet because we could all use that. So joining me this morning, Robbie Hayes, Alan Vincent, and the founders of a brand new app. Uh, good morning to you guys. I know that you guys came from all over the state, so thank you so much for being on. And, and first of all, sharp-dressed guys here. You guys are putting me to shame. Yeah. But but this is something that's not just for men. It, it's for women as well, and it's for anybody that just it really wants to take what they already own and market it to their friends and family and, and, and find a way to give back. So, so Robbie, let's, let's start with you, because you recently got involved here after coming to fame on The Bachelorette, and, and it's just something that seems to be interesting to you. Yeah, I got involved uh, uh, for, for several reasons. One of the main one is I kind of had to figure out, uh, you know, I've been given this platform um, and this following. I had to decide, you know, which route I was going to take. Who is Robbie? Who is Robbie known for for being on the show? And, you know, I, it, I came down to it, and the lifestyle I kind of wanted to lead was, you know, the fashionable male, the, mm -hmm. um, uh, the well-dressed businessman, so to speak. And, you know, I, um, through that, uh, I met um, Alan Vinson, who has made me some very fine suits. Um, and then up in Toronto, I met with uh, Sid and Rupin of the Me Spoke. And we kind of came together, and uh, I decided, you know what, if I'm going to take one of these opportunities that I've been given, you know, I get offered several a week. Um, let's do something that is Robbie and fashion is, is something mm -hmm. that I'm into and something that I'm involved with and um, I was glad that I was able to bridge the gap between these two um, Great companies. Yeah, so so Sid and Ruben you guys decided to start this and and there's a lot of apps out there It's a saturated market. Absolutely. What makes you so different and so marketable here? You know, we actually stumbled upon an idea Vic uh, while I was living in San Francisco living next door to a, a San Francisco 49ers football player who was a walking billboard. Um, so we kind of took his use case and said, are there some universal questions we can answer using the advancements of technology? And we did, and those are simply put by, you know, who is this by, where did you get it, mm -hmm. and how can I? Mm -hmm. So we said if we could come up with an application that solved those without having to communicate, we may be on to something. So with our technology, what we do is we embed what we call in geek speak is metadata onto each image that's uploaded. So if you look at our app, um, you click on Robbie's picture here, you don't have to type text or mm -hmm. uh, I'll call him and say, hey man, I love your blazer, where'd you get it? Without texting, typing, or hashtagging, you arrive at the manufacturer. So we're really just uh, effectively uh, offering a direct-to-consumer uh, 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 conversation to JT Vinson here in uh, Jacksonville. So, so, Alan, you're, you're the owner of J.T. Vincent Clothiers. You've been a, a custom clother here for a long time. Right. And, and what this does is it, it helps the small businesses. So maybe somebody sees something that they like on somebody else, and they might not have known about your business. And then they're able to be driven to your website, and, and then you all can connect and really have a happy union here. Absolutely. I mean, what it's all about is getting recognized, getting noticed, uh, and having more views to our website. So we're happy for more attention. When someone like Robbie Hayes posts a great picture of our clothing, and they can find us through that picture, that's, that's great for us. That's just driving traffic to, you know, eyeballs to our clothing and what we design. Because really, these days, it's all word of mouth. You know, mm -hmm. that's how we get our business. And he's got a lot more followers than most of us. <laughs> but, but it's not just for, for the celebrities. It, it's also Absolutely. for other people. So if, if you're a girl and you, and you like a certain lipstick brand, you could potentially make some, Monetize some money that, off yeah. that. Monetize that. Yeah. It's helped me immensely. I mean, I can't tell you. I, like you said, I have a lot of followers. And a majority of them are female because of the show itself. Oh, and, tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of them, you know, I'll post a picture in a really nice suit, maybe one that Alan made me. You get, they'll go, hey, where'd you get this? I want to get it for my husband or for my boyfriend or for my son, uh, my dad. And that takes the whole having to respond to each comment out of it because you can just click, yeah. go exactly to the link where it was and know where I got it. Cool. Thanks so much. Well, appreciate all you guys for coming Thanks, on man. and good Thanks luck so with much. everything. If you want to learn more information about Me Spoke or JT Vincent Clothiers, just go to the Morning Show page of our website a little later this or morning. Or come by tonight. We'll be right back.